G'day guys, it's Squatch here with another how to build and today I'm gonna start to show you guys how to build this It's the reactor from Halo Wars. Actually, it's the double reactor. This one's the upgraded one. So Yes, we're finally getting on to some Halo Wars structures since Halo Wars 2 coming out next year And I've also lost a year's worth of progress in this map. So That means no more Mega City for a little bit and I'm gonna be skimping on the Halo builds because I have currently lost a year's worth of well content. So, with that said and done, let's get cracking on the Halo Wars reactor. Alright, so before we get started in this build, what you guys need to know is that it is going to be 62 wide, it's going to be 41 deep, and 25 high. So, what we're going to need is, we'll take our, well, not silverfish, stone bricks, stone slab, stone brick slab, some iron. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Some grey wool. Uh, some jungle wood. And some jungle leaves. And where would we be without that good old potion of swiftness? Alright. First things first. We're going to swap to a potion of swiftness and drink that. Like we do all the time. And we're going to swap to a stone slab first. And we're just going to do a row of 24 across. Straight up easy. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. <coughs> now, we want to do a step up pattern. So, we want to do another row behind that. With a row like that. So. So yes. I've currently lost a year's worth of work. Thanks to the Xbox One cloud save. Not working properly. Alright. Behind that. We're going to swap to a stone block. And we're going to do a row behind that. With a row of slabs on top of it. So that's why, the reason why I'm on the 360. My Xbox One version is currently getting a bit of a tune-up thanks to the help of some good friends. Alright. Now, we're going to do another row of slabs directly behind that. With a row on top. <coughs> Excuse me. So that way we have four rows there. Now on this fourth row, we're actually going to do a second row directly behind that. So that way we've got two there, done nice and flat. So then all we're going to do... Two, three, four... Is swap to a stone slab. Stone brick slab, I should say. And we're going to place one there in front with a stone block behind it, one behind that, with a slab on top, with two there, oops, oh, come on, like so, so it goes up on like a little increment there, but you do have two flat spots there, and we're just going to do the same on the other side, So you should be looking at something a little bit like that. Now from here, all we're going to do is we're going to swap to a grey wall. And on the left hand side here, behind this slab, we're going to place one grey block there. And we're going to go 12 across that way. So we already have one there. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12. Now we want five rows of that deep. So we already have one here. So we have two, three, four, five. So 
So yeah, you guys can imagine how undoubtedly peeved I was when I found out that my main world had lost a year's worth of progress. Every other world came across fine. It was just that first one. Alright, so what we're going to need now is, in our inventory, we're going to need to break out some crafting tables. And what we're going to do is we're going to come on this grey wall, we're going to come across to onto the third block like so but we want to come one back and doesn't matter which block you use you just want to go one two three four because those are only temporary because with their crafting tables we want to go one two three four smash out those four and place four crafting tables underneath it as you can see, you can't build off a crafting table because otherwise you just access the menu. So you've got to build like from the top, down. Now we want to do that again because we want to leave a gap of two. And on the third block, just do another two by two of whatever. Place your four crafting tables. Smash that out. And place your other four. So that way you've got two two by two cubes of crafting tables. Pretty simple, straightforward, easy, the way we likes it. Now, what we're going to do from here is we're going to swap to a uh, iron block and off of this stone block here we want to go 12 to the left. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and from there, we want to swap to our stone brick slab and place a row of that on top. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, wait, that's right there. We want two rows of iron blocks, sorry. It's a bit hard for me to see because on mine, I've actually got, like, leaves there, so I can't see that. But we'll get to that later. Now, from here, we want to go back to our iron block. And we want to go back one and go one, two, one, two. Then a single row there. Then a row two like that. So you should have a little shape figure like that. And then all you're going to do is just place some stone brick slabs on top. So you should be looking at something like that. Now from here, all you're going to do is swap back to your iron block. From this lot of two, you're going to come out one and to the left and do a row of eight going up the side. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want a second row of that. And good old slabs on top. Now from here, we want to swap to our other slab that one and we want to do nine across next to the iron block in the bottom here but we want three high so it's going to look like that and we want nine of them across so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy what we just did here on the back. So we want to swap to our iron block and go 8 across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. With two rows. Stone brick slab on top. Now just before we get too far, we're going to uh, drink potion of swiftness. Swap back to our grey wall. And where we had this lot of five over here, like that was five deep, we actually want this to come all the way to the corner. And fill it in.
like so. Now before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we actually want to come back up here to the crafting tables. And off the crafting table, this lot here, we're going to swap back to our stone slab. We're going to miss two. And on the third one, which is also one away from that one, we want to go one, two, three. Now off this middle one, we want to swap to a stone brick block and go one, two, three. We're then going to swap to our grey wall and do two rows of three behind that. Like so. Uh, I might ditch that for the time being. I might just quickly ditch those two. Because we're just going to quickly go into our inventory and break out a lever a wooden button and a painting. So we're just going to go lever, lever, button in the middle, painting, painting, done. No, I don't need those two anymore. So you should have something looking a little bit like that. It's just like a little control panel. And from here, we're going to swap back to our stone slab and we're just going to go one, two, three. Pretty simple. Now from there we're going to miss two gaps and do the same again. So one, two, three. Then miss two gaps and do it again and go one, two, three. So you should be looking at something a little bit like that. Now since we've done that, we can swap back to our grey wall. Uh, actually, no, we won't. We'll do the next corner first. That will make life a lot easier. Now, down here, we're just going to do the same corner as what we did up there. So we're just going to come in one, out one, do a row of two, then up one, out one, do a row one, up one, out one, do a row of two. Make sure you put your slabs on top. Like so. Then we can swap to our grey wall. And we just want to do a single row along here. So just one row looking like that. Pretty simple and easy. I think it is. Right. From here, we want to go into our inventory, break out the stone block, and swap to it. And where we're going to do from here is on the corner that we've just built, just here, we're going to come in one, off the grey wall, and we're just going to place a block there like so. Now, this block here needs to be 22 long back to the front. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Now we're going to add a second row of that. once we've done that, we're going to come back to the right end of this row. And on the third row, we're only going to do three in. Because then we're going to swap to our grey wall and do five across. Which will add a second row of that as well. And then on the right hand side of that grey wall, we'll place one. Come back in one. Smash that one out. And then only go four across. So you should have something that looks like that. Because from there, we're going to swap back to our stone block. Fill in that three there. And we're just going to fill in with stone. With these two rows, level down to that end as well. So... Do, 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 do. And we're actually going to do the same with this row. 
So just another three there. And this row comes down even with that there. So we're just going to come up the front again quickly. Because all we're going to do is around the front here, this was going to be a little, e a little bit easier now that we've built that wall. Is we're going to place one block there and one back. Smash that one out. And we're just going to go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to do it again on another diagonal. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go back one, up one, back one, up one. So that way you should be looking at something like what I've got there. Just like that. And then in this gap down here, just one grey wall goes there. Hey, look at that. Pretty smick, eh? Alright, let's work our way around the to the back. To the back, to the back. Alright, uh, where are we? Alright. We're going to swap to our iron block. And offer this to here. We're going to come out one to the side one. And we want to do a row of 50 that way. So we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And just like the rest of it, we want two rows and then a row of stone brick slabs on top. Alright, from here, we're going to swap back to our grey wall. And what we're going to do is we're just going to trace around the inside here with just a one line. And then all the way down to the end. Oh, my potion ran out. So you should have something looking like that so far. That's what the corner looks like. I might just drink a potion again. Because from here, we're going to swap back to our stone block. And same thing, we're pretty much just going to trace around here. making sure that your front rows on the outside are only four high. Actually, I don't need that there. So that way you should have two lots of four going up and down there, with two lots of four going up and down there. And you'll need one little block there in the middle. Because with this row here, it's just a trace around. So it's just a little zigzaggy pattern like so. Now, back down the bottom here, this block here needs to be 45 long that way. So we've already got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. And we need that to be four rows high.
Now this next top block that's one in also needs to be 45 long, so that just becomes level with the other end. Oops, one too many. Alright. So from here, what we're going to do while we're continuously building this wall, is we're going to add one here, one back, smash that out. Go a second one here, and obviously we want that to be four high. Then all we're going to do is we're going to do like a sharp 90 degree turn, because it's going to come straight in, and we just want that to be three across. So we're going to come around, put one there, one there, smash that out, three across, and again, four high. And again, this row here just traces around it. Just like that. And hey, we're up to the next corner. So that means we can swap to our iron block. And off of this iron block, we're going to go out, in, with our row of two. Then our single one. Then our row of two going the other way with our stone slabs on the top. And now it's just like the other side. We want to swap back to our iron block again. And we want to come out one and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With our slabs on top. Then we're going to swap to our stone slabs. And like the other side, we want to do them three high. And again, nine across. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then swap back to our iron block and we want to do another two rows of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With a good old stone brick slab on top. Now we're going to swap to uh, iron block. I might as well actually finish this corner off. And just like every other corner, it's a row of two, then one, then two. And if I did this correctly, there should be 12 back to the front. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Hey, look at that. And don't forget to add your stone brick slabs. Hey, look at that. You got your outer perimeter done. Sweet! Alright, but we're going to come back to this side first. Let's not get cocky. All we want to do is it doesn't matter which side you start this from. We just want to swap to our grey wall. And we want it to be five rows deep. Which means this little corner in here can get filled in with grey wall. And this can just go from one side to the other. So you should be looking at something a little bit like that. Now from here, all we're going to do is we're going to swap to a normal slab, or stone slab, whatever you want to call it. And on the right hand side here, level with this one, we just want to come in onto the third one. So, one, two, three. And all we're going to do is go one, two, three. But off this bottom one, we want to go 19 to the left, which includes that one. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now, I'm going to ditch that. And we want that construction table back, crafting table, whatever it's called. Now, we want this to be four long. So, one, two, three, four. However, we want to do it in like a pyramid shape. So, we're just going to do two rows of whatever. So, we actually want to stick crafting tables on top. Smash out your blocks of whatever you had underneath. Replace them with crafting tables. And then just do another row of crafting tables on the side. So that way you've got like a little pyramid stack there like so. Now from here we're going to swap back to our stone slab. And continuing on with this line here, we're just going to go uh, past it. And we're just going to go one, two, three, one, two. Just like that. Which means we are just about done. Alright, so all we're going to do just to finish off the outside here today and wrap the video up is we're going to swap to uh, whatever tree branch you've got. And all we're going to do is pretty much all the way around the outside we're just going to dig out this first row of dirt Now, we're going to stop when we get to these three lots of stone slabs. We don't want to put put tree stuff there. So what we're going to do is where we dug out the dirt, fill it in with whatever tree you're using, and then on top of it, place your leaves. Now we're going to just do that all the way around. Dang it. Yeah, so I was so devoid. I lost my second frigate, my Pillar of Autumn, the Halo 2 multiplayer map Relic, my prototype Scarab, Seraph, <sighs> uh, my Covenant anti-air gun, six Banshees, four Phantoms, four Vampires, did I say my prototype Scarab and Seraph because if I didn't I lost that too, my entire Mega City, half my Space Tether, And a lot of my stuff needs a facelift with all the new blocks that have come out. I lost so much work. Thank you Minecraft Story Mode for saving my ass for the last three weeks. I know you guys probably didn't like it, but it kind of got me out of a pickle there. Hopefully by the time this comes out I would have at least half got it built back. Hopefully. It'd be nice. I did do that side. Sweet. But seriously, I lost my prototype. Pillar of Autumn. A second frigate. A Halo 2 multiplayer map. The Covenant anti-aircraft gun! And my Scarab. And my Seraph. My Mega City. It's all gone! Gone! <laughs> There's nothing I could do.
And for those that are wondering what happened, it was thanks to the latest content update, it corrupted the first save file. Apparently it's a common problem. Both Microsoft and Mojang were aware of it. Or are aware of it at the time that it happened. Alright, so, that will wrap it up for today's video. I know that doesn't look like much for the time being, but hey, it is a good start. Next week we shall work on the cooling towers, and then the week after that, the final structure on the right here. So if you do like this video, make sure you smack that like button, subscribe if you haven't, if there's anything you want to see built. Don't drop it in the comments section below, I've got enough rebuilding to do as it is. So, until next week, ciao!